Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chad Landman. You know, there's something to be said about something that is just rock solid and dependable, right? Something that you can always rely on, like a, like a good jacket or a good car uh, that, has, that has treated you well. It's got a bunch of miles on it. It's just getting broken in. Or a pocket knife that is always going to be up to the task. And in this video, we're going to look at my kind of very unexpected, my go-to pocket knife. And uh, we're going to go in even a little bit deeper in a couple of other things and go off on a little tangent. I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, let's get to it. Hey everyone, if you like what we're doing here, I'd invite you to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. We're about to hit 1,500 subscribers and I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. You guys have been amazing, especially with the last video, with the giveaway, with your comments. And so I really appreciate it. I would be honored to have your subscription. Let's get back to the video. Before I went make you wait any longer, I want to tell you that it's the Benchmade bug out. Now, before you click off the video, before you, you head down to the comments for all the hate and the discontent, let me explain myself first. Let me uh, tell you a little bit about why I love this knife. The Bug Out is my first Benchmade knife, and I've been familiar with Benchmade ever since I was a kid. I remember seeing them for the first time in the Smoky Mountain Knife Works store outside of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I was on my way. I was on a business trip down to Alabama. If I'm ever going through Birmingham, I always want to stop at Mark's Outdoor Sports in Vestavia Hills, Alabama. I saw this knife. I saw the, the Ranger Green, although it looks kind of tan to me if you compare it to my OD green Marine Corps sweatshirt here that doesn't really look, looks more tan to me. But when I saw this color combo, the Ranger green Gravori handle, uh, the gray blade, it was just awesome. At first thought, of course, I thought the handle was G10. Um, in fact, my most viewed YouTube short here on YouTube, uh, over 7,000 views, has me inaccurately saying that the handle is G10. I was so excited about getting the knife and kind of unboxing it on screen that I called it G10 by mistake. But that made me dive down a whole thread of knife material. So let's take a quick tangent and kind of look at that for a minute. I think one of the things that makes me come back to this knife over and over again is the materials that have been used. And that got me thinking a lot about the materials that we see in knives today. And the three most popular in my mind right now are Gravori, of course, what we're talking about with this Benchmade knife today, G10, and uh, Ultum. Now, Ultum has been a really big hit recently, and I think you'll see a lot more of it in 2023. But all of these materials are, are kind of these hard resin fiberglass based plastics, not so much with Gravori, but a little bit more with the fiberglass based on the other ones. And I did a little bit of research and looking into this, and it's absolutely fascinating if you think about it. These all have different varying tensile strengths, uh, durability ratings, corrosion resistance. Let's look at them really quickly here. Gravori here is sometimes called um, EMS Gravori. Uh, it was developed in Switzerland. It has excellent stiffness, strength at high operating temperatures. Uh, I read one thing that said that it could be tested up to 140 degrees Celsius. That's over boiling temp. That's not 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 140 degrees Celsius. It's really good resistance to chemicals and to water. It, it has low water absorption material. All sorts of materials absorb water. And of course, uh, thinking about Gravori, you don't have that. And most importantly with Gravori, it's economical to manufacture. Uh, it's been around for a little while uh, and it's easy to see why Benchmade would choose this material for their, their knives. And while they don't use it exclusively, the fact that uh, it can be manufactured economically means this is not a $300, $400 knife. G10 is incredibly common. One of my favorite knives is the Kershaw Cryo, as you see here. Uh, this is a $45 knife. It's got a G10 handle on it. It's got an assisted opening and a hinderer design. 
very very nice i have beat this knife to death and it just absolutely keeps on trucking g10 is kind of an, an epoxy resin made from fiberglass uh, it's come commonly incorrectly used with micarta i've got a micarta knife here as you can see one of the qsp knives it's incorrectly used it's, it's not an identical substance but it's very closely related so g10 and micarta are actually very closely related micarta is also having a big resurgence right now and um, seeing a lot of good stuff coming out from uh, all sorts of different knife manufacturers on that. G10 is actually used widely in electronics. It's on a lot of printed circuit boards, um, PCBs. It's not electrically conductive, so it's insulated. So you can use this for electrical work. I have used uh, this knife along with the Benchmade that I have here for a lot of kind of electrical work and cutting electrical cables and all sorts of different things. Ultum is kind of the new challenger. Ultum is, of course, a fiberglass-based um, plastic resin, uh, but it is incredibly strong, high quality. Um, it's made, been made popular by this knife, I believe, the uh, tactile knife Ultum Bexar, or Bear as they pronounce it. Um, wonderful knife, but terribly expensive. This is the most expensive knife that I own, and um, I do not regret the purchase, however, it's not for everybody. Ultum isn't cheap to start with, but part of that is actually based upon the demand and the popularity right now that Ultum has. And Ultum is gonna be limited to this kind of yellow amber color. Uh, you're gonna have some browns and some of those kinds of hues in that color, but it's gonna be pretty limited in its color, but the rigidity of this plastic is just is pretty amazing. It's more flexible than G10, but it's stronger at the same time. Okay. Tangent done, back to the bug out. Um, if you do a quick search on the Benchmade bug out, you'll find that there's about two camps of people with the Benchmade. One group doesn't get the hype behind it and they don't understand it and they kind of uh, resist it. But the, uh, there's another set of people that just absolutely love it. Most of the knives that I own are sub $100 knives. I am not an expensive knife person with the exception of course the, the Ultim knife here. I'm not an expensive knife person, but I have been going back to this one over and over again uh, just because of the design, the durability. It's not an automatic knife. It's not flashy. Uh, it's durable. It's there for you. It's not the most inexpensive knife at about $160 to $180, depending on where you got it. I got mine for $160. It flips out pretty effortlessly. The deep carry clip here is fantastic it doesn't protrude out too far to get caught on things like steering wheels or clothes uh, the thing that i like most about it though is the lightness of it the 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 thinness of it if you can see how thin this knife is it's just a very thin profile i have left it in my jeans pocket more than once uh, because i just didn't realize it was there i didn't i didn't realize i hadn't used it all day one maybe one day didn't realize it was there but the thinness and the lightness it comes in just at 11 millimeters thin, but it also only weighs 1.85 ounces. It's incredibly light. It's a 3.2 inch blade. It also comes in a, there. I believe there is a mini variety of this. The blade has a hardness rating of about 58 to 60. I have cut thick rope, land cable, Romex wire with this, all sorts of different things, and it has really, really performed like a champ. Is this the greatest knife ever made? It No, absolutely not. And, and I'm not even going to try to say that. But is it the best knife for me right now? Yes. And it might be for you too. So I want to know your thoughts on the Benchmade bug out. I did do a little bit of a tangent on materials there. Hope you enjoyed that. But let me know your thoughts on the bug out. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know if you own one and let me know how you like it as well. Of course, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it so very much. Please consider subscribing. Uh, I would be honored to have your subscription. It doesn't cost you anything, so why not? But thank you so much for being here today. Hope to see you next time.